misgendering a transgender can now get your social media shut down. As I write this, Louis Farrakhan's now infamous speech where he alludes to Jews as termites is still up on Twitter. Apparently, this is the sort of stuff that at Jack and his minions think is okay on the social media platform. But don't you dare point out that the celebrity known as Caitlyn Jenner was once Bruce Jenner. That'll get you banned like whoa. In a profoundly disquieting addition to Twitter's terms of service quietly rolled out in October, misgendering or dead naming a transgender individual can result in a permanent ban from the service, particularly if the individual doing the misgendering is engaging primarily in abusive behavior. So, you may be wondering what those two words mean if you are not up on your trans terminology. Misgendering is fairly simple, it means saying that Caitlyn Jenner, or someone in a similar situation, is actually a biological man and using personal pronouns to that effect. Trending, Ocasio-Cortez has the most ridiculous solution to fix migrant caravan crisis. Dead naming is a similar concept, it's using the name the transgender person used when identifying with the biological gender of birth. That name is dead to trans advocates, hence dead naming. We recognize that if people experience abuse on Twitter, it can jeopardize their ability to express themselves, the terms of service state. Research has shown that some groups of people are disproportionately targeted with abuse online. This includes, women, people of color, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersex, asexual individuals, marginalized and historically underrepresented communities. For those who identify with multiple underrepresented groups, abuse may be more common, more severe in nature and have a higher impact on those targeted. For this reason, we prohibit targeting individuals with repeated slurs.